Hello everyone, welcome to Clibit. My name is KB and today I'm gonna talk about the why you should move to the Windows 10. If you have a previous system of the Windows like Windows 7 XP or maybe you have a Windows 8 or 8.1. So why should move into the Windows 10? Okay, so uh, it is going to be a quick video for you guys and uh, I'm just gonna cover a basic uh, tip why you should move and basic uh, you know advantage you will get i'm not gonna cover the whole technical thing that it is that it is that but just a simple thing what we need for home users and personal computer users okay not for the technical users okay so let's do this first if you have a uh, you know windows 8 or 8.1 you should definitely should move to the windows 10 case it has the the start menu where you can search your items where you can just uh, it is uh, it looks like a you know windows 7's uh, start menu so you should move from windows 8 or 8.1 to 10 okay so if you are in windows 7 you can stay in windows 7 but if you want to get the advantage of uh, the newer system like you know you if you are a regular windows 7 user you might think twice because uh, you know there is a store now the something like the mobile phone uh, for example if you use the android phone there is a play store where you can find the games uh, music videos and all kind of things okay so uh, something similar to that uh, there is a you know a store the microsoft windows store what it does is it will now windows uh, windows 10 is in two part one is the metro one is desktop desktop means the regular windows you have been using that is the desktop and the metro means uh, the you know they are trying to build a you know uh, they are trying to bring a mobile apps to uh, windows which means you will experience the mobile games and apps in windows system which means you should go into uh, you know you should install the windows 10 for that you know as you can see there they are all mobile games for the windows 10 you can play all of the as you can see candy crush messenger even a messenger facebook and uh, asphalt 8 they are all free as they are free in the uh, your phone okay so that's why you should install the windows 10 and if you are a windows 7 user uh, there is a one more features uh, in windows 10 where you cannot find it in the windows 7 so that is the cortana the assistant if you use the google phone or the iphone there is assistant called the google assistant and the uh, siri where you can just speak with them make a conversation or maybe you want to ask something with uh, from there so you can do it in cortana which means the windows 10 cortana or it is also available in the windows 8 above okay you should move into the windows 10 windows 10 looks uh, really pretty because uh, it looks uh, something uh, way different than the you know the smooth and you know if you are using the windows 7 it will feel like a smooth okay so really icons are different as you can see in the bottom side they are redesigned icons and there is a action center with the whole lot of controls like you know you don't have in the windows 7 like uh, uh, turn on or off the network all kind of you know the control control panel of the you know the android or maybe iphones you can you get that in windows 10 really cool feature okay so now let's talk about the uh, some fix like you know in the internet there is uh, some users are saying or even i will say that okay sometime windows does sometime windows uh, lags yes windows 10 really lags sometime what is the quick fix quick fix is the you have to restart it once you restart it will stop lagging sometime uh, it will lag whenever it lags it will uh, you just have to restart your system and it will stop that lagging okay so how does the lagging uh, thing happens okay whenever you switch off your uh, you know uh, laptop or pc it will start lag okay then when you turn on it it will start to lag 
and you just have to restart it again why until you use uh, use it doesn't matter one day two day or regularly until you use it won't lag it will lag only when you switch off your system and sometime I don't know what kind of glitch is this I have also contacted with the Microsoft and they I I haven't heard anything about from them but you know it is a quick fix it is easy to fix this but uh, sometimes it, it is really annoying yeah it is true that it sometimes it does lag but uh, sometimes if it it does lag you just have to restart and use as long as you want to uh, use it without lag this adva advantage of the windows 10 is the some really 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 rare and the really old programs are not uh, cannot be installed or cannot be used in Windows 10 that's what the uh, few you know that's that's what the advan uh, disadvantage of the Windows 10 is okay when I said that you might think wrong if there is a possibility like you know some program doesn't run a stra straight but you can run them if the when you're trying to install the program when it says this program cannot run this on PC what you have to do is just right click that and go to property and uh, go to compatibility compatibility and uh, just click on compatibility mode run this program in compatibility mode just run this and uh, make a selection make it xp service pack 3 or whatever you uh, like to choose and apply and okay and that program will definitely run if that error message you are getting overall everything is just same as the it was it used to in past but the only thing has changed is the metro apps and the metro settings etc things so that's why you should move into the windows 10 if you are using windows 7 or windows 8 or 8.1 so this was just a you know quick uh uh, I'm not gonna say a review because it has been long time it has released the uh, tip it, it was just a quick tip for a new person who have never tried the Windows 10 and uh, that's what you feel when you uh, download the Windows 10 and you should move to the Windows 10 because it is the next generation um, uh, Windows system and uh, yeah you should move here <laughs> not here you should move to the windows 10 and yeah that's all i have to say and i have been using windows 10 from i think one and a half year and it is my primary system and yeah i enjoy it sometimes there is a bugs yes still as i told you sometimes it freezes but it can be fixed and future we hope that uh, bug will never disturb us and that's all hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and i will also put link in the description for the windows 10 iso for the new person who doesn't have the windows 10 go into the link in the description and get the windows 10 iso and yeah that's all uh, hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye <laughs>